It's got a bad evaporator motor, so we'll get that changed out. And then we're going to also we'll blow down the drain line and the drain tube, and we'll clean the we'll go ahead and clean the evap too while we got it all apart. <laughs> Let's get into this. It has a bracket. It has a bracket that goes on the back of the motor. And then that bracket screws up. Up there. So I'll show you the reassembly. So you move your thermostat connector, you can get to your wiring harness. And you'll see they'll have them like this. So you can just cut those out to put a new wire nut in. There it is. And then I noticed as I was pulling it out, the white wire for the light bulbs off, so I gotta find it. I think it's right up here. There it is. It goes up and around here. It needs a new spade connector. There it is. Right here. So it needs a new spade connector, and then it's gonna go under the light bulb connection here, and then we can clean up all this wiring. So let's, let's grab that. I'll just go ahead and cut these out of there. Make sure the unit's unplugged before you get working. And then these will hit the road. And we'll get our new motor. The new motor wire, there's a chase that goes through up here. I don't know if you can see that little chase right there. Then that'll bring your, your wires back around for your opening. They'll come through here. Real basic stuff. Okay, so I got the light all fixed up. Before I put the motor in, I want to go ahead and clean my evaporator out. So I got some coil cleaner soaking on it right now, and I'd already brushed it out. And I'll get my uh, I'll get my nitrogen so we can clean all this out. And I'll get my pump sprayer and go ahead and wash her out real good. Okay, I got the old pumper sprayer going. Okay, still washing that thing out. You can see it's pretty dirty back in there. So you're gonna take your time and really get in there, get these things cleaned out. up there because it's off-centered so you have to line up the, the foot pattern to where the motor centered in the hole up here okay got the motor mounted up there and got the wire nuts taped up and we'll get that back together now, this is the OEM retaining nut that came with the motor this is the retaining nut that came with true with the star walker I like to use these, so I'm going to use this one. But I will use this, this washer that came with the motor. Let me get that on there. Okay, so then I'll get that on there like that. And we'll get the fan guard on, and then we'll be ready to uh, get this thing going. Okay, got the cover on. And then we've still got to do our drain. And this is what happens when you get the cleaning stuff. Drain hose plugged up. I gotta blow it out. Like I said it, uh, it earlier on, I was gonna blow it out. So we're gonna unplug our drain hose. Uh, I think I'm making a big. 
Baker match. nitrogen setup I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go check out my nitrogen rig video and you can make a cool nitrogen rig so I'm gonna get a little bit more water out of here let's go right there we're gonna blow this guy down mess time there it goes with the triple triple threat cleanup. So that's after scrubbing and washing and it needs more scrubbing and washing. This one actually it needs to be pulled and deep cleaned or replaced. We're getting there. It's bad. You can see the fan blade through there. It's kind of cleaning up getting there just got done with the reach in I got the AC over there it's got one of those Honeywell wireless thermostats it's not connecting it was running earlier I'll get it reset we'll check it out and then this little guy's having some dirty coil head issues and check it out I got the Steve labs sprayer that thing's sick thanks Steve Arena you guys he has a video on this you guys got to get one it's so nice Looky there, Labs. Giving her the old Gundy in California. <laughs> Dude, that coil is filthy. Got up to 90 today here. It's pretty warm for here. We're getting into our, our warm season now that summer's over. The fog's gone away and it's hot and sunny. So if you ever want to visit like San Francisco or Santa Cruz Coast or Monterey, don't go in summertime. Late September, October is the best month. And into November sometimes. See, look, it's, it's all scorching out here. Okay, you got the AC reset. So, I could show you guys this real quick. This unit has one of those Honeywell remote stats. If you guys haven't seen those, it's a little sending unit. It's a, they mount it in here. The wires go to the control wire terminal blocks sends a signal down to the stat, the stat talks back to it. When you can't run your thermostat wires, here, give me a second. You'll get a green connection light there. It'll flash red if it's trying to connect. Put the cover back on so I can talk to you guys. So it'll flash red if it's trying to connect. It'll have a solid green light when it's connected, but it just needed to reconnect, reestablish connection, so it's back to running both stages. It's hot in the restaurant. I gotta offer up some maintenance on this. Look, there's the filters. I found the door for the filter bank was off. Look at the coils. I had to put that back on on these Bryants with the economizers. They always come off. Um, so I gotta get him some, looks like 16 by 20s, a new belt. Those are nasty. So, and I got to service the other one for the back kitchen. Fun times. Look at all the stuff that came out of my condenser coil. It's in the water floating. That was all impacted in that coil. 
and I washed it out with that with the Steve Labs super sprayer out of all the tools I've bought off of you guys reviewing tools on YouTube this has got to be the funnest one this thing's badass so if you want to learn about this and where to get it I would go over to Steve Labs YouTube channel Steve Lab and Warner Plumbing and Heating and Air Conditioning and he did a tool review on this a few, couple videos back and it's absolutely a good tool so I'm gonna PM these air conditioners next Friday for this guy I got the green light we're gonna go through them and do the belts and the filters and check everything out we're gonna check the heating on them too Stay tuned for that. Well, that was a good one. The customer called me out for the uh, dead evap fan motor, and then it turned into a bunch of service calls. That's how it goes sometimes. You get out there to look at one unit, and you end up looking at three or four, and then I made more work because I get to come back Friday. Friday morning, I'm going to head out there, PM those ACs, and he's got another Cook's Line unit he wants me to look at that we couldn't get into tonight because they're going to start cooking a bunch of food, so... That's how it goes on that one. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.